Here at FLHQ, we have a lot of different kinds of sizes, colors, and shapes of waste bins and recycling bins. So our first step is going to be to get rid of all of the confusing kind of bins that we have around the building and replace those with uniform bins, blue for recycling, black for waste. Along with that, we'll be putting up posters above those that show you what can go into a recycling can and what you need to put in the trash. Okay, so this is where all your commercial and your residential comes in. The trucks come in, drop it off. All of the materials that we recycle, like from here at FLHQ, go to the materials recovery facility. They do such an amazing job with how they sort out all of the things that are recyclable. And it was great to see that what we recycle here is actually being reused. So this here is the OCC separator. So what it's doing is it's pulling off all the big pieces of cardboard off the top. All of your containers and small pieces of fiber are dropping down below. The MRF, essentially what it is, it's a, a system that's full of conveyors and magnets and optical sorters and people that separate recyclable material so we can process it, package it, and then ship it. We're running about 7,500 tons a month through the MRF. The more we can recycle, the more room we save in the landfills because there is a finite amount of space. Going and seeing the MRF lifted the veil, kind of. And I think that if we can show our employees what's actually happening to the things that they put in the recycling bins by showing them what actually happens at the MRF, we're building their trust in recycling again. So these are all your aluminum cans that are getting gathered. By default, public transportation is very sustainable, right? We're helping people get around. We're reducing cars on roads. UTA has a wide reaching impact on the community here. And so if we can make our operations greener, it's going to be better for everybody.